The Archaeological Survey of India has made public the much awaited report on the Gyan Vapi structure. The scientific investigation done by ASI was submitted to the District Court of Varanasi. So this report has four volumes. On 21st of July 2023, District Court of Varanasi ordered the Director of Archaeological Survey of India to conduct the scientific investigation survey at a disputed site, excluding the area sealed by orders passed by the Supreme Court of India. Here's what ASI was told. The Director of ASI was directed to conduct a detailed scientific investigation by using GPS survey, excavation, dating method and other modern methods to determine whether the present structure is constructed over a pre-existing structure of Hindu temple. ASI was also asked to investigate the age and nature of the construction of the western wall of the building in question through the scientific method. So here are some of the major findings from the report submitted by ASI. So the central hall has retained all its original features except some minor changes, whereas south hall has been made by the reused material from the earlier structures. It is very important to note that the disputed structure is of uneven surface having slope towards the east. That means that pre-existing structure was constructed on the western side of the plot. A lot of old inscriptions have also been found. The pillar with bell motif in the eastern row has a dated inscription on the surface with arched niches. Another inscription was found engraved on the underside of a stone slab used in the cornice above the entrance in the north wall. The extent wall portion of the western wall has vertical offsets and horizontal mouldings through the exterior face. These vertical and horizontal members have distinctive features of Hindu architecture and it confirms the construction and existence of a Hindu temple beneath. So now let's talk about the much debated western wall. This western wall rests on the platform or jagati which comprises of dressed stone blocks. The lower parts were meant to be underground and hence devoid of any major embellishments. The platform is topped by leaf motif. The motif runs all through. Please look at the pictures on your screen to understand better. Above this platform rises temple wall proper with all its distinct vertical and horizontal members. Out of the 34 inscriptions, only three are in good state of preservation. It is important to note that these inscriptions also provide architectural terms such as temple and indirectly help in inferring this information to relate it with famous Shiv temple. Now let's talk about some of the inscriptions. The inscription number 17 seems to record some pious work in the temple by the Pahar or the Pandit on the fifth day of the dark half of the month of Pushya in the year Samvat 1669 which corresponds to 1630 CE, January 1, Friday. So basically these inscriptions are in Telugu, Kannad, Sanskrit, Tamil in all these languages. Now let's move to the sculptures found. So the sculptures of Hindu deities and carved architectural members were found buried under the dumped soil in cellar S2. The Arabic Persian inscription was found inside a room mentioned that the mosque was built in the 20th regnal year of Aurangzeb that is uh, 1676 to 77 CE. Hence the pre-existing structure appears to have been destroyed in the 17th century itself during the reign of Aurangzeb and the part of it was modified and reused in the existing structure. Removal of debris from along of the western side of S2 exposed several antiquities including sculptures of Vishnu, Shaivadwarpal, miniature temples, Hanuman and other stone objects as well as terracotta figurines. Now let's move to Mason's marks on these structures. During the course of scientific study, various types of symbols have been found on the wall structure. Seven different types of symbols have been recorded and out of them trident or tushul and swastik are maximum in numbers. The majority of the marks or these symbols are found on the western wall which is mostly undisturbed part of the pre-existing structure and forms part of the existing structure. It is important to note that the shul is the distinct weapon of Lord Shiva. This divine symbol is commonly used as one of the principal symbols by Hindus particularly by the Shaiviyats and also Shaktas. Now let's move to a very important point. Based on the investigation, 
to find out the constructional phases of the structure archaeological survey of india concluded that there existed a large hindu temple prior to the construction of the existing structure this temple had a big central chamber and based on the study of the existing structure and available evidence it can be concluded that it had at least one chamber to the north west east and south respectively remains of three chambers to the north south and west can still be seen but the remains of the chamber to the east and any further extension of it cannot be ascertained physically as the area to the east is converted into solid functional platform with stone flooring asi also made a very important observation that in comparison of the inscription found in the lower room inside the existing structure with a copy which was made by the asi in the year 1965-66 established that an attempt was made to erase the last two lines of the inscription mentioning about the construction expansion of the mosque asi has also mentioned that in the 17th century part of the pre-existing structure was modified and reused in the existing structure for the enlargement of the mosque and constructing sahan pillared veranda parts of the pre-existing temple such as pillars plasters etc were used with little modification as per the requirement of the changed use the western wall which is made of stones and decorated with moldings is remaining part of an earlier hindu temple this is a very important point asi also studied pillars used in existing structure and it is found that pillars with square section having lotus medallion in the center and flower bud chains on the corners were part of the pre-existing hindu temple these pillars and pilasters are used in the present structure so let's take a look on the some of the artifacts broken part of a marble slab inscribed with ram in devanagari script painted with black was also found now let's take a look at this uh, another piece the top piece depicts the crowned head of the hanuman and the mace head the second piece depicts the body except the feet the right hand folded at the elbow holds the piece left hand is missing the neck is adorned with necklace waist band sash and shawl is clearly seen the third piece depicts the left feet broken at the ankle the extent part depicts a headless male deity both hands are broken but the right hand appears to be raised the left hand appears to go over the body the right leg is extended above the knee the left leg is broken at the hip based on the posture and iconographic features it appears to be the image of lord krishna he is depicted wearing necklace yagna pavit and dhoti let's take a look at this image so the extent part depicts the bottom half of a sculpture of hanuman the left leg bent at the knee is placed on a rock the right leg is firmly planted on the ground there is another image the four handed terracotta figure of ganesh the deity is seated in padmasana posture and upper two hands are damaged the trunk turned towards the right of the image the two lower hands are placed on the knee of the folded legs the deity is seated on an oval pedestal now on your screen you have a number of structures buried under the heap of debris it is also important to note that the different types of stone objects include sculptures of deities pastes of very dimensions and other household items inscribed slabs etc have been found viewers you can also read our comprehensive pictorial representation on the artifacts discovered at the site which further solidifies the assertion of the existence of a grand mandir preceding the disputed structure from the broken murti of hanuman ji to the ram inscription on a marble slab there are many shocking revelations made in this report link is in the description box thanks for watching